Yep. <laughs> All right. Give my voice a little break. We'll be played late. Uh, late. Yeah. Time to lose. <laughs> I think Go I've, easy on me, okay? I think I've won like two games this entire playthrough in this in this playthrough compared to my other one. <laughs> okay then, let's draw. And it's because of this draw too. Looks like you're up first. Of course, that is always the case. The same score means we draw again, right? Looks like you're up first. Again, yep. As per usual. Bolt! I don't know why you wasted it in that. Play it, but sure. All right. Um. The same score means we draw again, right? Can I get Looks lucky? Looks like you're up nope. first. Luck is a uh, something I don't have apparently. Bolt! Ouch. Bolt! Do you mind? Really? You're playing that now? Really? You're playing that now? I'm definitely losing Mirror. this one. Yeah, I'm losing this one. Mirror! <laughs> I win! Yeah. As the usual. Yeah, I mean... Every once in a while, like, my last playthrough for some reason, I could definitely win. For some reason, this one, I... It, it does not allow that. Go back and forth. <laughs> Can't believe our field study these dates coincide with the fe summer festival in Heimdall. Uh, I wonder if this is another one of Structure Sarah's little schemes. I really wouldn't be surprised. Can't wait to see what horrors await us this month. The summer festival certainly seems to have caught your attention, though. Is it really that great? Oh yeah, biggest in the country. There are all kinds of exciting events, including loads of music-related things. <clears throat> oh, really now? What does- that does sound fun. Hopefully you'll get a chance to drop by your home at some point too. Who knows, the capital's pretty massive after all. It's going to be a roll of the dice whether or not we're close enough. I'd really like to see all my, uh, my friends again though, if I can. You seem kind of down, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. I mean, we're going on a field study, not a vacation, right? We can't let ourselves get caught up in the festival atmosphere, or we'll wind up with failing marks. I don't know if I got the willpower to pull that off, though. <laughs> well, all we can do is try. All right, Laura, are you ready then to let win? Let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. Not a great hand. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. All right. <laughs> then I'll make the first move. I actually won. Wow. This is already way, starting way, way better than usual. Divine Bolt. Hmm. Sure. Mirror. And I want that back. I didn't expect that. I have a bunch of these, so... There we go, that's big numbers. <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played. <laughs> well played. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. Oh no, it's come down to luck. I'm gonna lose. The first move is yours. Okay, never mind. She doesn't have any cards. I win. I admit defeat. Well done. I actually won the draw that time. This is surprising. St. Australia Girls School is in the capital, correct? If I'm not mistaken, that's the school your sister attends. Do you think you'll be visiting her? I might, if I get the chance. The last time we saw one another was only a few days ago, though. I'd feel kind of awkward going to see her again so soon. <laughs> I suppose it does stand, stand to reason that even siblings would worry about such 
social f fox pass. Sure. That's a word. Oh yeah, you don't have any brothers or sisters, do you? <clears throat> I do not. I'm an only child. Although, I have been asked by some of the girls I know to regard them as my younger sisters. Come to think of it, they're enrolled at St. Estrella as well. A girls' academy sure sounds like interesting places. Oh, sure. I hope Elise doesn't get corrupted by the girl of the fire environment. <laughs> you really are a devoted brother. Or rather, you come across as one who's devoted to most anyone aside from yourself. From himself, yeah. You think so? I do. Perhaps much of this could have been avoided if I were more like you. She's got a lot on her mind. If only there were something I could do to help them. No, you'll figure something out. Alright, Magius. You're the one person I actually want to win, but I'm probably gonna I'm lose. I'm not going to hold back. Mm hmm. Well then, go Guess ahead. Guess that hand's off. okay. It looks like you're up first. Of course. That kind of means I'm gonna lose this time. Bolt. Bolt. Of course. Mirror. I want it back. Ah, oh, crap. We're even. We'll have to redraw. Oh no, he knows the strats, making it a draw. We're even. We'll have to redraw. He knows he's like gonna. First. Yep, of course. Okay. We're even. We'll have to redraw. Yep, he knows the strats. We're even. We'll have to redraw. I'll go first then. Oh, I won again. Uh, I can't use that. Sure. Ah, oh, crap. Now you've done it. I might actually win this one. Yeah, I won. Nice. It's mostly luck anyway. I'm on a winning streak now. What's up, Magius? How's it feel to lose? So this month's field study is in the capital. Yes, we, we've been spending how long talking about this, Magius? We certainly won't be staying at my house, but I wouldn't be all that all surprised if some of our tasks send us there. Yeah, I guess your dad is a pretty busy man, huh? He'd have to be, governing a city the size of Heimdall. Busy doesn't even begin to describe it. He barely has time to come home most days. And with all the preparations for the festival, I'd be surprised if we even saw him, much less had an opportunity to talk to him. That would be a shame. It is what it is. I'll just be happy if we we're able to fulfill some requests on his behalf so we can lighten his load a bit. Sure. We'll, be, we'll all be more than happy to help. You and Elliot are going to be the stars this time around, after all, so you get to call the shots if you want. <laughs> well, it is our hometown. We'll take charge of things while we're here. Wait, why is Machias and Elliot only in my team? Shouldn't we have switched those around so that both um, teams have a local? That's kind of weird. I just thought about that. At least in terms of city navigation, we'll be able to show you the way to the any uh, facilities you need. Thanks, we'll be counting on you. All right, Fee, see what you got. Let the battle begin. That is a terrible hand. We draw here, right? You're first, I guess. Of course. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Of course. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Wow. <laughs> they aren't even trying to make this fair, are they? Ouch. Mirror. Mm, I'll take it back. Crap. Mirror. Of course, okay. Yeah, I need you to use your high... Uh, dang, I should have used it on the five, I guess. Ouch. 
I lose. Looks like I win. I wasn't even close. <laughs> All right, P. How you doing? Not going to have a long uh, have long to enjoy the journey this time. Yeah, we're not straying too far from Trista. Do you enjoy traveling then? Somewhat. We used to travel a lot in the corpse. I see. Did you spend a lot of time admiring the view through the train windows then? Sometimes. We traveled in airships and boats too. But sometimes we were stowed away in cargo holds, so we couldn't see anything. It's like... It's not like she's deliberately trying to annoy Laura or anything. But I don't think Laura actually wants to be irritated by her either. There's got to be some kind of common ground. Something to help get them through this. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Alright, time to solve that later. And we talked to everybody, we played Blades with everybody. Right? I played with Elliot first, yeah, okay. Stop talking, let's go. 8.20. The Ministry of Railways wishes to thank all passengers for their patronage. This semi-express line is bound for Heimdall. Our next stop is Heimdall. The terminus of this express line. Please ensure you have all of your belongings with you when you disembark the train. Hmm, it looks like we're almost there. Indeed. It doesn't feel as though our train ride was all that long. Well, Heimdall's just a stone's throw west of Trista. We could have just gone back to Trista at night. Well, yeah, that's true, but... Uh... Plenty of people commute to work in the capital every day, after all. Look at the design of the train. The view that the conductor has is really bad. They wouldn't be able to see in front of them very well. But I don't know if that's much. Yeah, no, look at that. Look, that thing. The thing in the front of the train is like blocking the view completely. Exactly on time. And it's voice acted. Huh? Wait, what? Are we getting arrested? You're sad. Yes. You're from the Railway Military Police. I don't know why if they... memory serves me correctly. I don't know why they decided to show a still picture of, you know, just seeing her before without saying her name. <laughs> but all right. You're Captain Claire, was it? That's right. I'm glad you remember me. I believe it's been about three months since we last met. So, this must be the woman the group who went to Keldick encountered. So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Um... Since you're here, does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. He should be here any moment now. Oh, here. Perfect timing. Oops. I accidentally skipped that. No way. <clears throat> Dad? They really do look exactly alike. I've seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Just one looks a little older. Governor Regnitz, one of the reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machias's father. <laughs> this is the first time I've met most of you, so let me introduce myself. I'm Carl Regnitz, Machias's father. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7.
<clears throat> All right. My apologies for the location. I would have preferred to brief you in, the, in City Hall, but I'm regrettably short on time, so I had to ask the captain here to lend us to this room. Anyway, let's move on to confirming your assignments and lodgings. Hold on a minute. Come on, Machias. You're supposed to be the smart one. How did you, of all people, end up being one of the sort one to sort out our lodgings and tasks? It seems a little too convenient. Yeah. Now that you mention it, you do remember how Elisa's mother was the one sorting out the place in Roar, right? This isn't all that surprising. If you wouldn't mind us asking, sir, how did you wind up as our, our point of contact? <laughs> My apologies. I probably should have explained it, explained a little more first. It's actually a very simple reason. I'm here because I sit on the Th Thor's Military Academy's Board of Directors of Force. You what? How? You guys shouldn't be surprised about this every time someone comes up. First Eustace's brother, then Elisa's mother, and now Machius's father. It's almost like everybody with a connection to the people who got into a special program are a part of the board. It stretches the bonds of imagination to believe the Academy's choice of directors is mere coincidence. Huh. I can assure you the three of us didn't arrange for it to be that way. If anything, I wasn't sure what to do when the Academy first offered the position to me. The Academy did? Would it be right to ass in assuming there is some kind of secret be reason behind the formation of Class 7? I'm afraid that's not my place to say. But whatever the case may be, I'm the third and final member of the Board of Directors. And that's why I'm the one who's prepared for uh, who's prepared your field tasks and arranged lodgings for all of you. Unbelievable. It's all starting to make sense now. Thanks for clearing that up, sir. Anyway, back to what you were saying before. Yes, as I said, I'm short on time, so I'm afraid I'll have to keep this brief. Your field study will take place over three days, of which this is the first. As such, the third day will coincide with the start of the festival. Each group will be assigned half of the city and intend to a list of needs I have drawn up for you. So one group will take the east half of the city and the other group will take the west. Well, I mean, it could be north and south, Emma, you know? There are other ways to split it up. The city is big enough that it looks like we'll be working apart even though we're in the same place. Indeed. I'm sure you've seen for yourselves how vast Heimdall lives. If both groups were to rove around the entire city, you'd have trouble getting anything done. As such, I've broken it down so that all of Group A's tasks cover the area east of Ven Vencure Street, and Group B's tasks are focused on the area west of Vancouver Street. Must be an important task, or important street. I believe Vancouver Street is the main thoroughfare that runs through the city, leading to the Imperial Palace. That's one. As soon as we leave the station, you'll see it uh, stretching out to the north. It's hardly a precise division, but more the purpose of this field study. For, but for the purpose of the field study, I'm sure it'll be more than um, significant. <clears throat> now, I'd like each group to take one of these envelopes. Alright. Own oh, keys? Nice. This envelope looks like we like the one we usually get with our field study itinerary. But what about this address and key? Um, Alto Street and Vesta Street. Hmm, Alto Street? That's around where my family lives. Really? Yep. Can't say the address brings any per er, particular place to mind, though. 
seems to remember Vesta Street being a main street on the west side of the city. Yes? It's a fairly lively working class neighborhood. Dad, are these? That's right, the addresses of the places you'll be part of the places you'll be staying while you're here, along with their keys. Both groups will be staying in different places, so I suggest tracking down your lodging before you start your work. Think of it as a small orienteering exercise to help you get a better feel of the city. Oh, my apologies. I'm afraid I'll have to take my leave now. Dan? Preparations for the summer festival have me running from place to place, so as you can imagine. I wish I could stay and chat a bit longer, but that's the life of a poli uh, in politics for you. Oh, one more thing. The communications functions of your Arcus have been enabled in the city. Good luck out there. You can disable that? Wait, hold on just a... You know, he's taken a, quite a while to walk out. You could continue your sentence, Machias. Alright, never mind. Hmm. I'm not sure what to make of it all. Since he's the governor, I was expecting him to seem a lot more strict, but he actually seems more... playful. Yeah, I feel ashamed to have seen... had you seen that. Yeah, I actually pressed the button. At least he managed to fulfill his responsibilities as governor somehow. Actually, I've heard he's extremely good at his job. Coming from the background he does, he's friendly and down to earth, but people say he's born to lead, too. <clears throat> the Imperial Chronicles always paints him in a favorable light as well. I heard he butts heads with the noble faction far less than his fellow reformers counselor Osborne. In politics, a friendly demeanor can just as easily be an act to sway popular sentiment. After all, there aren't many who can waltz in and borrow meeting space from the RMP. Oh, thank you for calling, Stefan. Or, Steph. Yep. Yeah. Have a good meal. After all, there aren't many who can waltz in... Yeah, I already said that. Well... And in Salvo? Thank you for following. I really appreciate it. I'm doing good. Got a little something in my throat. And, but, you know, Thanksgiving break's about here, so, that's good. How about you? Capital is the nexus and the heart of the nation's entire railway network. As such, the railway military police finds itself indebted daily to the governor of Regnus Grace. This was just an opportunity for us to return the favor, at least a little. Come on now. Well, thank you for allowing us to use this room for our meeting. We need to get our field study underway, so if you'll excuse us. Of course, I wish you well in your studies. If you'll follow me, I'll escort you to the, next, the station's exit. Um, in a sense, yes. I played through this game a long time ago. I don't remember a lot of it. But... I think I played, I finished this game and then started the second one, but that was years ago. So I have a little bit of experience, so I'm remembering a lot of stuff and I'm finding a lot of new things. But yeah, not a lot of experience. Especially not a lot of experiences I remember. Incredible. It's so vast. Interesting layout. I don't know how that works with the cars parked, you know, in the road, but you know, it's not my city. The size of this city never ceases to amaze me. Way too many people. I'm with you, Fee. So far, I really like it. It's got the stories so far interesting. 
Um, all the characters have a unique personality, and I like them so far. I'm learning a little bit more about them as I go, but so far pretty good. I mean, it's not to the level of like Persona and character development and all that, but for for a game like this, it's really good. Way too many people. Yeah, the I yeah I already said that, but yeah, I don't like that many people. It only starts to sink in that I am in the capital after I see an Orville tram zipping along. Is that what, what those little train vehicles are? I've never had the opportunity to ride one, but I believe they've used so to ferry people around the city more easily. Yeah, they're the main form of public transportation here. They link all 16 of the capital's main districts. There's something like an icon here in Heimdall. Their fare is pretty cheap too, which makes them convenient for getting around. Lots of people use them so often that they just buy a yearly pass. Amazing. All that and so many Orville cars on the road too. Is that building off in the distance? That would be Valflame Palace, resident of His Majesty the Emperor. That's a really big building, or closer than it actually looks. Although from what I understand, Chancellor Osborne's Imperial Governor is also stationed within. Yes, that's the case. Anyway, I'll be taking my leave here. I wish you the best of luck on your three days of field study. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to see us off. She really doesn't seem like an army of officer, does she? Indeed. Though the railway military police are known as one of the Imperial Army's elite di divisions, most not the not to mention one of the branches most dis despised by the aristocracy. <laughs> If a province has a railway, you can virtually guarantee they'll use it as an excuse to meddle in the security affairs. Yeah. I do know the... What is it? The, um... When I first completed this game, I know I remember a little bit, bit of it, and it kind of threw me for a loop how it just completely connected to the next game, like a series, like a TV series rather than an, a, a game, and that was that was an interesting experience and a neat way to do things. I've rarely seen them in Legrand, though judging by their actions during our encounter in the nature park, they did seem exceptionally well trained. Yeah, even with the same number of soldiers, they had no trouble rolling right over the Provincial Army. On top of that, the captain is so elegant and pretty. It even looks good in a uniform. Some people have all the, the luck. Excuse me. Just like she's everything Sarah isn't. <laughs> Ouch. You could say that again. Though it seems like those two have more than a little history between them. Alright, I suppose we ought to get moving then. Yeah, we'll be... We'll need to home off a tram to where our lodgings are, and then find the address where we've been given. We've got a long three days ahead of us, so let's give them our best. You can count on it. Hey, Laura. Take care of yourselves. You do. May the goddess be with you all. Take care. Alright, bye for now then. Alrighty then. Time to party in the capital. This eastbound Orville tram will be departing momentarily. All those wishing to board, please do so at this time. That's convenient. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed that. 
if you like what you saw, you can um, watch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash luminiferousquack. If you want to see these videos, of course, you can see me on YouTube with Luminous Quack on YouTube. And you can see if you want to get notifications for when I my videos come out or when I stream on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter or X on, at Luminous Q. I hope that I hope to see you guys there. Have a good one. Please subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out. Bye bye.